Hey everyone, it's the Ionic Guy. I've got some news for you guys. A TSB is finally available for those of you experiencing intermittent level two charging failures. Now, this has been an ongoing issue for at least a year now. You guys have been telling me all the time, why can't I charge at 11 kilowatts? Why does the car keep tripping out? Why do I have to charge at a lower charging level? So if you guys wanna find out more about how you can get this fix, stay tuned. So yeah, I got word through one of my viewers. He was at his dealership and I guess they gave him a copy of the TSB, which this is the first I've even seen it and Hyundai hasn't told me about it. So uh, now I'm gonna share it with you guys. So it's going to be TSB number 23-EV-003H. And it says it was released in March, 2023 for the Ionic 5 electric. I don't know why they need to put electric. Obviously it's an electric car but it says it's applicable to 2022 to 2023 model year Ionic 5s. So it doesn't matter which version you have here in the US, it could affect either of you. The title to this TSB is Vehicle Charge Management System Update, VCMS, and the description of the update. If you are servicing a vehicle with either of the following conditions, perform the procedure in this bulletin to update VCMS software. And those two bullet points are intermittently stops charging before charging completes. And the second is EV light on with DTC, which is trouble code P1BAD, charger coupler temperature too high. So if any of you who have this issue ongoing have an OBD2 scanner and can check the code on the car, let me know down in the comments section if you can actually see that P1BAD code and if it coincides with your charging issues. So I'll just be forthright with you guys. I personally have had a really good experience with level two charging, but I only charge at 40 amps. I do not charge at 48 amps, which is approaching 11 kilowatts. So I am not putting the car under the same amount of stress as some of you with level two charging. I think a lot of people have come to that conclusion that it is the actual charging port, the J1772 port, where power's coming in that overheats, which kills that charging session. So a lot of people have had success going down to charging at 40 amps, and if 40 amps doesn't work, 32 amps, which is unfortunate because for many people, they wanna be able to charge at full speed. Maybe they're a dual EV household like we are and they wanna fully charge their car and then fully charge another car in the same day. And charging at 11 kilowatts definitely makes that easier. But yeah, I haven't had enough level two intermittent charging issues that I'm gonna go out and get this TSB. Now, come later this summer, maybe I will do that if I have issues pop up due to the heat. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it at that. But yeah, this is excellent news. A lot of you have been waiting for this TSB. I know they released something similar for the EV6 and Hyundai did tell me that something was in the works. So it does appear that it's finally available. I will upload this file to my Facebook group file section and I will share that link down in the description below so that if you guys want to get this TSB installed, you can print this out with you and bring it to the dealership with you. I highly recommend you do that with TSBs because as we're seeing the dealerships, a lot of the time don't know what TSBs are actually available. So if you go in and just complain, they might not be able to see this unless you actually have a copy of it in hand. So definitely print it out, bring it with you. I've had people tell me that they won't even look at it on somebody's phone. And that just sounds like service techs being assholes because that's totally ridiculous. So if you guys do get this TSB installed, be sure to leave a comment down below. Let us know how it went. Let us know if it actually solved your charging issues. So anyway, guys, just a quick video on this Saturday. Wanted to get this information out to you guys. Share this one across social streams because people need to know that this is available, especially if they're having issues. But if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. So if you're anything like me, you were probably disappointed after you purchased your Hyundai Ionic 5 and realized that there was no overhead storage for your sunglasses. So I solved that problem with the Hyundai Ionic 5 magnetic eyewear holder. It simply clips onto the magnetic area next to the driver display and your sunglasses go right onto it. These are 3D printed in PETG and will not soften in the heat of your car. They utilize a one and a quarter inch rare earth magnet that keeps them securely on your dashboard and a strip of Velcro protects the frames of your glasses. These will work well with thick plastic frame glasses such as Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but not so much with wire frame glasses like Aviators. 
These are available for $20 plus shipping at the link below in white or black. Thanks for checking them out.